Oh, hey, what's up? My name is Ryan Hafey with Hafey Digital. Don't mind me, I'm just admiring the new light that I got for my office here. It's by Falcon Eyes. It's a nice, soft, diffuse light. I love it, but that's not what you're here for. Welcome to day five of 31 days of tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily scale your footage down to your frame size in Premiere Pro. Let's get to it. So let's say you have some 4K footage that you plan to edit in a 1080p timeline. That's exactly what I have here. I've got a 4K, 4K. This is a 4K clip and this is a 1080p timeline. Now by default, if I drag this clip down to the timeline, it's gonna give me this little dialog box that says, do you want to change the sequence to match the clip settings? Now in this case, I don't want to do that because by doing that, I would change my 1080p sequence to a 4K sequence, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna edit in 1080p, so I'm going to click keep existing settings. Just gonna zoom in here a little bit. But now the problem that I have is that the footage is too zoomed in. You see how it's much more zoomed in here than it is over here? And that's because the resolution of a 4K clip is a lot higher than 1080p, obviously. Now, if I wanted to scale this clip down to match the 1080p timeline, I could technically go up to my effect controls panel and scale it down by 50% and it would match just fine, but that's a few too many clicks in my opinion, so I'm gonna undo that and show you an easier way to do it. Now, if you go to the clip and you right click, you'll see these two options here, scale to frame size and set to frame size. And they both look very similar, but they actually do two different things. So let's start with scale to frame size. So if I click on scale to frame size, let's see what happens. Now notice that the 4K clip has been scaled down to 1080p, and if you go up here in your effect controls panel, you'll see that the scale is still at 100%. So basically what it's done is it's resampled that 4K clip down to 1080p. So now if I were to go up here and increase the scale again, you would start to have a loss of resolution because the clip was resampled down to the lower resolution. Now let's undo that and I'll show you what happens differently when you choose set to frame size. So I'm gonna click the clip, right click, set to frame size, and you'll notice that the clip is scaled down once again to 1080p, but the difference up here in the effect controls panel is that the scale is now set to 50%. And what that means is it's not resampling the clip as it does with the scale to frame size option. Instead, it keeps all the pixels intact. So if I want to zoom back in to 100%, I can do that without losing any resolution. Now the benefit to using the scale to frame size option and resampling is that it's going to have less of a burden on your system. It's not gonna have to use as much processing power to play the clip back because it's resampled it down to a lower resolution. But then again, you lose the ability to scale the clip back up because you have resampled. Whereas if you want to maintain all your pixels and have the ability to be able to zoom back into your clips, once you've scaled it down, then you want to make sure that you're using the set to frame size option. Now, if you want to accomplish this downscaling more quickly, there is a way to adjust your settings to make sure that whenever you drag a clip into your timeline, it's going to set or scale it down to the frame size automatically. To do that, you want to go to edit, preferences, and you're going to go down to media. It'll bring up this dialog here. And what you want to look at is default media scaling. So you want to figure out which of the two options you want to use more often. If you want to set or scale it to frame size. I like to set mine to frame size so that I have the option to scale back up if I need to without losing any resolution. So I'm gonna click set to frame size, hit okay. So now that we've changed the setting, you'll notice that if I go ahead and drag this clip down into the timeline again, it's going to give me that same dialogue, that same pop-up that asked me if I want to change the sequence settings to match the clip. I'm gonna say keep existing settings but you'll notice that the clip is now scaled the same as it is up in the uh, source monitor up here. And if you click on it, go up to effect controls, you'll see that the scale is automatically set to 50%. And that is how you quickly and easily scale your footage down to the frame size you were editing in. Also, by the way, it should be noted that it works in reverse as well. So if you do have one of those default options set up, let's say if you're dragging a 720p into a 1080p timeline, it is going to upscale that footage. So that's just something to keep in mind if you do plan on changing those default settings. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful for some of you. If it was, be sure to hit the like button below, and I will see you again tomorrow with another tutorial. Bye.